these are three main points that has helped me to make a decision to go with an f4 rather than f2.8 and i hope it will help you too you might be wondering why i went with f4 lens if i could have gone with f2.8 so in this video i'm going to give my some of my points that has helped me to make this decision and that might help you to make your decision as well all the things that i'm going to say about the telephoto lens is applicable to every telephoto lens out in the market whether it's from tamron canon sony koji film or nikon the sony 70 to 200 m f4 lens is a powerhouse in a compact body it is known for its versatility can be used for portraits landscape and everything that you can throw at it this lens is built for a full frame body with e mount but you can opt it on the crop sensor as well build quality on this camera is really good the zoom is internal so that you don't have to rebalance everything if you are using it on a gimbal and the second thing is the glass on this lens is really really good sharp and the quality that it produces is really good despite being an f4 these are the three points that are important to me and these are the three points that are actually really helpful in the real life scenarios and that has helped me to make the decision to go with an f4 rather than f2.8 let's start with the first point that is weight this uh, version 1 f4 lens is weighs around 840 grams which is substantially low as compared to 2.8 version 1 because if you are encapsulating more and more lenses into your kit the weight of the bag tends to increase and that could be the reason why you are not taking the lens with you and that could render the point useless of buying the lens altogether so keeping the weight down was one of the priorities for me second point is the compression so this is the point that has confused me for the bit of the years that I was deciding on to buy a telephoto lens. The one thing that I've noticed in the telephoto lens is the f2.8 and f4 doesn't have that much difference in the compression. Obviously, uh, f2.8 is much shallower, but, but to naked eye, it doesn't matter. If you are using a telephoto lens, even within variable aperture, yes, you might lose a light. You might lose two stops of light or three stops of light or one stop of light, but the compression on that extreme end of the telephoto or somewhere around anything above 100 will be really really good you won't feel that you are lacking out in the compression part because the telephoto lens tends to have that compression it tends to bring the background much closer to the subject why i decided to go with an f4 lens is as i have been doing the photos and videos i have realized that it's not feasible to record everything in an open aperture there there are instances where you want to go with an f4 f8 or f11 sometimes like suppose you are taking a photo of a landscape which i recently did so uh there's one thing that i want to mention actually there are two things that i want to mention one is the weight of the lens is not exactly 874 grams or whatever the sony has mentioned let me clarify one, because there's a weight of the, the lens hood. One, there's a weight of the collar that is basically used to mount the lens onto the tripod. If you remove those things, it boils down to, it dials down to 874. One thing. And second thing, that, that thing that I'm talking about is, over here is the photos that I've taken. But that statement is also true for the videos because if you are trying to capture the landscape, there is no point of going f 1.8 or 2.8 into the landscape because the focus will be only onto the subject that is inside the box so in order to get everything in focus you have to narrow down the aperture by narrow down i mean going f5 f6 f7.8 depending on the light and the scenario on what you are trying to capture and back to the video or if you want to take the photo of a stationary subject you might you might want to use f5 f6 in order to get everything in focus around this i have uh, made another video about this where i'm explaining why you might not be getting sharp images you might want to check that out that is somewhere over here so another reason why i chose to go with an f4 is the price the f4 is way way cheaper than the f2.8 even the version one and i got it even cheaper because there was a diwali discount going on at that time and I was able to get way, way less than what is supposed to be worth. In my head, it's better to save money and invest that money into travel so that you are able to use the lens or the camera or anything to its full potential or test it out or go somewhere else, enjoy the weather or anything that you are out for. 
or even buy, save it to buy another lens if that's what you want. If you have a lens and you don't have any money to go anywhere else to shoot an, any content, what's the point of having a hefty lens with a hefty aperture and everything with a glassy quality and not able to shoot, not able to shoot anything. So keeping that in mind, I decided to save up the money and still invest into a good quality lens. This is just the thought process why I chose the lens. I have yet to test it out. And this is something that is just has helped me to make a decision. So this might help you to make the decision as well. If in any way, if I'm able to shorten the length of the decision making process for you, I would consider it a win. So that's it for me. Consider subscribing, hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post and, and, and happy new year. Bye-bye. Thank you.